so quite uh, interesting little piece another study testing Clarice capabilities but the most challenging part of this project was to rig the vehicle as usual in order to save time I bought the model on Turbo Squid and then I had to rig it so I ended up rigging the rover with the Cinema 4D uh, dynamic connectors initially as you can see this didn't go very well but after a few tests fiddling with some settings the rig was finally working. A good thing about Cinema 4D Dynamics is that it's real time. Unless you're loading your scene like crazy. With the help of Express, I made the steering controls for the rig and was able to keyframe the steering wherever I wanted the rover to turn. After that, I needed to prepare the terrain for tire tracks because the rover is supposed to cruise across the moon surface, which is soft, it's made of dust. As we're talking about really large scale terrain here, I needed to isolate the areas that's supposed to be high detailed. The rover rig and the setup for tire tracks generation is available in my store, by the way links are in video description after everything was cached i had to bring it to houdini for a cleanup and and further debris simulation with particles not debris but dust then i started to assemble the scene in clarice for now i just needed to figure out how it should look like how it should be lit and I certainly knew that I will need a lot of scattered rocks on the surface. Played quite a lot with different point clouds, tried to achieve better randomness and, and things like that. Then I started to shade the rover. Color management is a very important part in shading if you're working in ACES. Had to make some changes to original texturing because our rover is going on the moon and the dust is quite light. Then it was time to define the terrain and add some set dressing objects like bigger rock formations and craters and stuff like that. I used Gaia for terrain generation. With environmental shots like that one terrain is never enough, it won't be enough details, so you have to assemble your final look from several terrains. So basically you're just generating assets. Once terrain was more or less okay, it was time to start importing some buildings for the lunar base. I used Kitbash 3D lunar base assets, and before you import them anywhere, you need to prepare them, like reset the pivot point, group elements properly together, make sure that shading groups are correct. If you're working with Cinema 4D, shading groups are just polygon selections. Once that was done and Alembics exported, it was time to set up the shading layer in Clarice. Shading layer is basically a collection of uh, rules dictating which materials go where on certain objects. Since we have tens of different buildings in this pack, this is a very efficient way to shade them all in one go, instead of manually assigning materials to each individual element in every building. You can see as I create individual shaders and assign them in shade shading layer, all the buildings are getting shaders simultaneously. After finishing the shading layer, I discovered that some of the assets didn't have any shading groups, so I had to go back to Cinema 4D and fix that. Once that was done, it was a good time to start looking for good angles and start trying to animate the camera. Initially I thought it would be cool if the rover would go over the camera, but then I couldn't reveal the city. The lunar base would be already in the shot, so I changed the angle to what it is in the final. 
with animation in place, it was time to start putting buildings as I wanted them. I wanted the lunar base to be revealed over time. Once that was done, it was time to start thinking about simulations. The tire track, debris, dust, all that stuff. So I brought the terrain with tire tracks in. But I quickly discovered that the, that the original sim has too much depth in the tire tracks. It looked like snow rather than thick layer of dust. I didn't want to re-simulate anything because it took quite a while to simulate the terrain in cinema. So I decided to fix it in Houdini and simulate the dust along the way. I just scattered some points across the surface, then figured out where the tires are touching the geometry, and this area of contact would be my emission points. The tire track fix was just a matter of boolean operations with some VDB manipulations. And that's pretty much it for the whole setup, the rest was just uh, fiddling with details, uh, polishing the shaders of the surface, and then final render. Unfortunately, I didn't capture how I, how I was rendering the final. Here you can see the render goes pretty fast, but it's far away from the final render times. They were quite significantly longer. The comp was done in Fusion, as usual. Not as many passes used, and just basic color gray. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Peace.